Welcome to Beat Source Tech. My name is Mojax, and I've just got a quick episode for you today as the engine team have just released the new 4.0 version of their OS and preparation software. This one is largely focused on the user interface, an area in which they were already ahead of the competition, but with 4.0, they've gone even further. The performance view gets a new feature called View Manager. This enables you to cycle through three different view layouts, each of which is fully customizable. You can choose to show two or four decks on four deck devices, and whether to show both layers on the separate players. You can then have vertical or horizontal waveforms, have things stacked or grouped, and show performance pads or not. And you can now have the library visible in all configurations if you like. Basically, there's a whole ton of options which make sense according to the hardware in use. Then once you've selected how you want each of the three layouts to look, you can cycle through them using shift and view. That's the headline feature, but there are a few other changes to the interface too. You can adjust the playhead position on the waveforms. There's a new train spotting mode in the settings, which hides the artist and track titles on the decks. That's the feature known as AM mode in Serato. Plus, they've redesigned the load to deck screen, the toolbar, the library view, and a bunch of elements. One of my favorite aspects is the new expanded track list, which shows a larger number of songs and also shows full waveforms, including cues and loops for each track. Search has received an upgrade too. You can now search within a playlist as well as in the full library. The only limitation is that only works with playlists which are saved to your device, not when you're browsing a streaming service. On the subject of streaming, they've implemented the latest API from BeatSource and Beatport, which has massively improved search performance. As someone who obviously uses both of those services, that's great for me. There's more, of course. The onboard clock now has a 24-hour option. They've tweaked the recording levels to make them more consistent across different hardware, and tracks can now be ejected from the decks, one of those features which seems pointless until you actually need it. And naturally, there's a whole load of bug fixes, including some for the desktop software, which doesn't see any new features in this release. There's one thing I'm sure some of you will ask about in the comments, and that is stems, which were promised when the Prime 4 Plus launched. There's no sign of them here, and I'm not sure of the status of that project, but as the MPC range got stems after a fashion a little while ago, I'm sure we haven't heard the last of that yet. As always, I remain impressed with how steadily the engine team puts these upgrades out. Since Engine OS launched, the flow of quality of life improvements has been constant, and 4.0 continues that tradition. It's a full release, not a beta, so if you own some engine hardware, get it installed and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching this episode of BeatSource Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.